I am now going to talk to you about a new product we've added onto the tvtrade.ie website um, called, uh, we have it partially assembled in front of me here, and it's called the tripod um, um, mounting bracket, okay? And um, I'm just going to give, give you an idea, first of all, of how, where this fits in, in in the whole range of brackets. The traditional way of mounting either an aerial or a satellite dish, um, such as the one that I have demonstrated in front of me here, just if you focus in the satellite dish for a moment, um, is to simply bolt it onto a wall on a bracket similar to this one. This is traditional uh, sky wall mounting bracket. So the bracket simply bolts onto the wall, the arm comes out and we mount a, um, an aerial or satellite dish onto it. Now this isn't always a feasible scenario simply because we might have no wall um, in the location where we want to mount the particular aerial or satellite dish. So um, we, because of this on the tvtrade.ie website we, we stock a range of alternatives which are ground mounted um, brackets and they're normally called patio brackets. So the simplest one we have here is an inch and a quarter. Uh, the next one in the which is about 37 millimeters and the next one is a two inch or 50 millimeter bracket here and all that happens is you simply use bolts to bolt these into the ground and they're freestanding by themselves and uh, so they're um, and the sort of the, the step up on the range from this would be a tripod uh, unit such as this which um, you know it's very specialized in what it will be used for because um, it's a 75 millimeter gauge on it um, and it's hollow on top you can actually slot another pole into this if you wanted to um, or you could come along and have a situation where um, uh, you would mount uh, some type of a very very heavy unit or very large satellite dish onto this and bolt it onto the ground. So we wouldn't expect this to be a very high volume unit in terms of who would buy it. It's quite specialised but there's definitely demand out there for, for very heavy duty brackets like this and primarily then it will be used in the situation where there's simply no wall on which you can mount a particular um, uh, satellite dish or something like this or possibly due to the weight of the dish possibly you don't want to mount it on a wall because you feel that the, the force of the exert will be too great. Okay, so I'm just going to move these two other brackets out of the way for a moment. And I'll just move on then directly to uh, this particular unit here. So you can see anyway, it comes with three sets of brackets. Now two sets of brackets have already been installed in here. And then it comes with a total of nine nuts and nine bolts. And we need to have either um, a ratchet or a socket, 17 millimeters, uh, to be able to go and assemble this. So um, if we just focus in here briefly on the nuts and bolts here, you can see that the, if the, the bolt here and the nut itself uh, is um, a locking nut. So when we lock it in, it'll actually lock into position. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to assemble the final uh, leg on this particular uh, tripod unit. So I'm just going to tilt this forward. I'll move this bracket out of the way for a moment. And what I do is I simply slot this bolt through and it goes through this hole here. Okay. So there's slots um, on all of these. And um, so there's a certain amount of flexibility when we're putting this on to allow for uneven ground. So I can tighten it in initially up as far as here by hand. And once I want to tighten it forward, I need to use this ratchet and then we'll be locking into the locking part of the nut. Okay. And I'm going to repeat the same process on top here. So we'll simply slot this nut, uh, bolt through first. I run it through here. And now what we do is we come along and we repeat the process here. Just tighten this nut in initially by hand. Okay. Uh, and we repeat the same process here. Uh, and that's it. So it's relatively simple to assemble. Um, uh, the next step here would obviously be in normally just tighten the nuts firmly into position and you have it as a solid unit then which can be transported around. And what we do then is we would drop this um, unit uh, onto a piece of concrete where we would like to mount it securely and what we do then is we'd use guide holes to drill um, corresponding to the slots here. So if you come over here for a moment and just focus directly into the slots here or maybe you can do it from there. Uh, you can see here what we do is we'd actually drill the guide holes into the concrete using maybe a 10 millimeter drill bit and we'd see exactly where we want to mount this onto the ground. So if it was a very light load going on this, you could possibly leave it as freestanding, but in general we'd say this would be bolted into the ground. And what we'd recommend then is you come along and we'll drill holes here using a 16 millimeter drill bit and use a 10 millimeter projecting bolt like this. So how it would work is we would have the holes then drilled in the ground and we simply come along then and we take off uh, we we'll have the bracket moved out of position and we we'll simply drop these bolts into the ground and when the bracket has been moved into position we we'll drop on the washer and the nut 
and then we'll simply come and tighten this into position. And when it comes under tension, it'll simply grab the, the concrete underneath and tighten in and it'll give a very strong uh, mounting. So there's a total of four uh, slots in each one, here and here, here and here. So traditionally you would use either three or six bolts on the outside to give it a good, good firm uh, things. So as I said, this is a very, very heavy duty bolt or a bracket. It's made um, from galvanized. It's supplied to us by Blake's UK. And uh, you know, it won't be for everybody, but certainly there's a market out here for people who are going to mount uh, extremely large um, um, uh, satellite dishes and want to have them freestanding. Okay, that's it, beginning to end, uh, the tripod, tripod uh, mounting bracket.